Welcome to this episode of Sycamore Junior High Daily Video Announcements. Happy Terrific Tuesday. You all look terrific in your summer and winter Olympic wear. Today is September 17th. Hello, I'm Haley. And I'm Avi. Soar Sycamore Junior High like a bee. Be safe, be responsible, be respectful, be a problem solver. Thank you for being responsible and respectful at this time as we all stand with our fellow aviators. Place our hands over our hearts and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. You are all terrific individuals. Keep being terrific and you will make this place great to learn. Beach Bash News. Congratulations, Sycamore Junior High. We did it. We raised 25000 to experience the Mrs. Shunk and Mr. Meyer Flamingo suit race on the track during lunch. And only need $5,000 and only need $5,000 more dollars to earn a field day and reach our new top goal of $30,000. This is so awesome. Be proud of our school and so grateful. People stepped up this weekend to help raise more funds. If you haven't been able to get out to get donations, please do so before this Wednesday to help us reach our additional $5,000 field goal and a chance to win the remaining fundraiser raffle gifts. All eligible registered fundraisers are in this week's raffle for zoo tickets, reserve seats for December 9th concert, choir concert, the December 11th orchestra concert, the December 17th band concert. Get this, the top prize winner will win a $300 gift card. Second place wins $200 gift card. And third place will win a $100 gift card. Get this, gift cards will also be from the place of the winner's choosing, like from Amazon, Target, Dick's Sporting Goods, or GameStop. Again, all you have to do for a chance to win is to go to this site to register and get some donations. Go Team AP Meyer and Go Team Principal Shunk. May the best Flamingo team win. Okay, all students, remember to check your emails every single day. Ask if you need help. Be responsible to be informed. Check for emails from our counselors, our office staff, the other schools, our district mailings, and more. Check your PBIS reward points and how close are you to earning a reward. Did you know that this weekend kicked off Hispanic Heritage Month? Hispanic Heritage Month is an annual celebration of the history and culture of the U.S., Latino, and Hispanic communities. Hispanic Heritage Month 2024 will last from Sunday, September 15, 2024 through Tuesday, October 15, 2024. The event commemorates how those communities have influenced and contributed to American society at large. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month to our Sycamore friends and family who are celebrating. This is Spirit Week. Plan your week. Tomorrow is Wednesday Spirit Day. It's wear your favorite Olympic ring, cover, and the staff wear black. Thursday the 19th, Jersey Thursday, wear your favorite jersey from any sport and any team. Friday the 20th, Aves go for gold. It's game day. Wear green and gold to support the Aves. This Friday, September 20th, is our Beach Bash Day. We will have a special schedule for that day. We'll let you show, we'll show that on Thursday. Keep getting donations to reach our new $30,000 goal. And we're green and gold. A message from our media center. Now that we are in the routine of the school year, we will be increasing the enforcement of our Chromebook loaner charger policy, monitored through our media center. If students need a device or charger, they're always welcome to stop by the media center to get help from Mr. Kurz. In most cases, loaners and chargers should be returned at the end of the, each day. In the event items are not returned, both students and parents will re receive an email as a reminder. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Kurtz in our media center at kurtzzv at sycamoreschools.org. Okay, next, it's clubs and activities announcements time. Math Club. Are you interested in joining Math Club this year? We compete in local and national competitions with other school teams. The first meeting will be tomorrow, Wednesday, September 18th, after school, in Mr. Miles' room, 2204. Meetings will be each Wednesday after school. No need to sign up in advance. Just show up. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Miles at milesjsycamoreschools.org. 
Yearbook! The next Yearbook Club meeting will be this Thursday, September 19th, during Flex in Miss Spielman's Art Room, room 2155. This will be a photo workshop. Grab a Flex Pass for the meeting in room 2155. Yearbook Club is still accepting new members. Email Miss Spielman if you're interested in joining or attend Thursday's meeting. Spirit orders will be due on September 19th as well. If you need an order form, stop by Miss Spielman's classroom. Hope to see you there. Next up, mark your calendars. Ohio Tech Day presented by Mita is on Friday, September 27th. If you're interested in teaming with Ohio on learning tech, email Miss Jarvis. October 2nd is the first Partners Club meeting with Miss Lisa in room 1260 after school from 3 to 4 p.m. Friday, October 11th, the first quarter grade period ends. So keep up your grades and finish the first quarter strong with hard work and determination. Next, Next up... up Students of the Week. Hey, Sycamore Junior High. We are very excited to announce our first four Student of the Week. Um, so we have four students who are named and recognized by their teachers for being awesome, for meeting the four pillars of our PBIS, so our four Bs of respectful, responsible, safe, and a problem solver. So our first one goes to Dawson. Dawson says, uh, Mrs. Adams says Dawson has been kind, helpful, hardworking and respectful in class, and he is always prepared and ready to learn. Claudia was recognized by Miss Beatty, and Claudia is, always, is already showing her hard work ethic. She's sweet to her peers and has a positive attitude. Congratulations, <coughs> Claudia. Thank you. Doris was recognized by Miss Abbas Lee. Miss Abbas Lee says, Doris is outstanding. She is friendly, kind, responsible, and respectful, and she is a huge helper in the classroom. So congratulations, Doris. And Tamalia, you are recognized by Miss Alleman. Miss Alleman says, Tamalia is kind, thoughtful, respectful, and responsible in English. He always has a smile on his face, and you do always have a smile on your face. So congratulations to our student of the week. Thanks, Principal Shunk, and wow, congratulations to our students of the week. Now over to Mr. Stern with our Athletes of the Week. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern here to do this week's Athlete of the Week, and as I'm sure many of you know, this is homecoming week. It was great to see some of you at the festivities on Sunday, and uh, throughout the week we'll have some different dress days. Uh, we are filming this on Monday. Today is red, white, and blue day. Um, I am sitting next to Josh Queen. Josh isn't wearing red, white, or blue because he has a game today, and, and uh, they are playing Rain on Monday afternoon, and uh, all the football players are wearing green or gold. Um, so uh, he's partaking in that. Um, Josh is a member of our seventh grade football team, and uh, we want to give a couple of shout outs for some things that occurred last week. First of all, to our football team, both our seventh and eighth grade football teams won last week on the road at Hamilton. You guys had a shutout. Yeah. That's a big deal. Anytime you win a GMC uh, game on the road, that's really, really tough to do. And for our 7th and 8th grade to do that, that is fantastic. Big shout out to our tennis team. Uh, they went over to Mason and beat Mason. I believe it was 4-1. to one. So not only did they go there, they didn't make it close. Uh, they really gave it to Mason. So uh, I'm sure they'll be looking for the opportunity to win the GMC in just a few weeks. And I'm sure Mason will be one of the tougher schools. Soccer teams, uh, those of you who came out to see us uh, with soccer last week, both boys and girls had victories here at home last week. Uh, the boys had a one nothing shutout, and the girls had an 8 nothing shutout. So it was really a great week. Um, oh, and lastly, golf. Our girls golf, um, they continue to win. They have won over 20 straight matches. So it's not like they've just won a lot of matches this year. They have won a lot of matches we are talking about multi-years, so uh, we got a lot of great things going on in athletics. And speaking of great things, I am here with Josh, and Josh has been nominated by 7th grade football, and Coach McCullough says, 
Josh Queen is our seventh grade football athlete of the week. Josh is an extremely hard worker. He leads our team by example on a daily basis. Josh is starting on both sides of the ball, playing both tight end and defensive end. And you scored in that 24-0 yeah. uh, as a tight end uh, last week. Whether it be hustling to drills, watching films, studying the playbook, or just giving 100% in practice and games, Josh is on top of it. Josh Queen is a true leader and model aviator. Congratulations, Josh. That's fantastic. Here's your write-up and your certificate, and enjoy Chick-fil-A on you. us. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Yay! Our second recipient of the week, this is Adele Rosfield. Rosfeld? Rosfeld. 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 I want to make sure I pronounce that correctly. She is a member of our volleyball team. And your coach says the athlete of the week for seventh grade green volleyball is Adele Rosfeld. She works incredibly hard. She has a terrific work ethic, she has great character, and she is consistently trying to improve her hitting and defense. And I know you guys have a pretty good record this year. Do you know what the record is? 7-0. Uh, 7-0. Seven, zero. Seven and, zero. Um, and cumulative, if you were to add all of our volleyball records together, it's really quite impressive. So uh, we have lost very few matches this year. Her passion for the sport and drive makes Adele very easy to coach. Congratulations, Adele. Clap, 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 clap. Oh! Adele, you are right up to put on the refrigerator your certificate as well. And please enjoy Chick-fil-A on us. Thank Congratulations. You. Those are our, oh, I do have one more athlete of the week, um, but unfortunately she is absent today, but I still want to recognize her, and she is probably finding out at the same time you are as she is watching announcement, uh, announcements this, uh, this afternoon. This goes to Hadley Allen, and Hadley, it says the athlete of the week for eighth grade green volleyball is two-year player Hadley Allen. She is the speaking captain on the floor to relay any concerns to the referee. Hadley is one of our setters and is a crucial part of every play on the court. She supports and she cheers on her teammates. We are all so proud of her hard work. So congratulations to Hadley. Sorry we weren't able to get you on announcements, but we definitely want to recognize you and, uh, and say congratulations. So clap, clap, clap for Hadley. <laughs> And those are your Athletes of the Week. Thanks, and that's so awesome. Congratulations to our Athletes of the Week. Way to go and work hard representing our school. Next, birthdays. Happy birthday to students celebrating today, Eli W. And staff member, Miss Ennis. Enjoy celebrating your special day. Next, joke of the day. There Justice is a dish best served cold. Why? Otherwise, it's just water. <laughs> now that's funny. That's all we have for today. Enjoy your terrific day. Glad football player 99's okay. Make positive choices, open your mind to new learning, meet a new friend, and go Aves. And... Go Aves!